um, in the manner in which they think you're supporting Bola Tinubu, they think you are being paid. People are going to say that. People are going to say that. You know, I don't care if people. I mean, if people are saying that. But what I can just say there is this: is that if I have collected even one cobble, one dime from Bola Tinubu, then let I mean, let my maker deal with me and let me never progress. I've not collected a dime. I've not collected a cobble from him. I protested against Bola Tinubu at Chatham House. Go and look at what I said. What I told members of my party is that as long as it is true, I am going to go after Bola Tinubu with the truth. But I am not going to lie. And which was my issue with, um, what's his name now, Rufai Useni. The man told several lies. And it was just on the basis of that I said, if you look at, if you go back... He came to Rufai Useni, but I thought that he is your cousin. Because I thought I saw a video where he said he is your cousin. He kept going back to him. Ah! Wait, oh, Olor Umaje, he said he's my cousin. Okay, please, let me address that because you're not the first person to have also told me several people. He did a video. He actually did a video. In that video, he um, alleged that he's my cousin. Rufai Oseni is not my cousin. He did the video. And that's why I said, in fact, maybe his parents should have named him Iro Labi. Because the man, he just lies so much. Rufai Oseni is not my cousin. Yes. Rufai Oseni is a half brother to, um, would I say, uh, some people who are relatives of mine. So if if he's if he had been the same father with them, he would have been a distant relative of mine. But he is only a half brother to them. I believe that they, he shares a mother with them, and he is not related to me in any way, shape, or form. However, he is half siblings. Are related to me. They are distant related. You, you have to understand one thing. I'm Ishakiri. And Ishakiris are not very, they are not much in number. I think we are about maybe 200,000, even if that. So all Ishakiris tend to be, uh, what's what I'm looking for? They, we tend to be related, sort of, you know. So um, he's half siblings, they are distant relatives. I believe that um, my mother was the kind of benefactor to, to them. My, my mother um, um, got his sister a job. The sister lived with my mother. And even the Rufai was himself, you know, he used to come. Uh, because you know, obviously, if you are, if um, if the half siblings are coming on holidays, we can't say that okay, you should not come. So he would come with them. You know, my, he would come to my parents' house. My parents would take. I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm not happy saying all of these things. I don't want to say it because. No, no, it looks like a family problem, which I thought I knew. Because you mentioned before, Zemi said separately. I'm not. I'm not very comfortable with it. I mean, this is not. This interview is about. Chicago, no, 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 hang on, hang on, please. I need to say this. I need to say this. I only mentioned Rufai Hussein's name in the context of the lie he told on that in during that interview. I did not mention his name in the context of other things because he apologized to me in the presence of Mr. Unduka Obagbena, the proprietor of Arise Television. And I told him, I said, I forgive you. And if you look at it, I did a tweet saying that Rufai Hussaini has, has apologized to me privately and I've accepted his apology and I move on. However, immediately after he apologized to me, he left the studio and then called my brother and began to threaten me. And then my brother recorded the conversation. He threatened me, he said he was going to kill me, he was going to destroy me, he was going to take me out. He, so all of this, my brother now recorded all the conversation and then my brother sent it to me. So when my brother said it to me, I now called Mr. Onduka Obagbena and I said, look, this is the man that you, that you made apologize to me. He apologized to me, he begged me, and I told him I forgave him. Immediately after he apologized, he left your studio to go and call me, and I played the recording for Mr. Onduka Obagbena. I said, that, how can I now? That was why I now said, oh, okay, well, that means that his apology was not genuine. But in this interview, I, the only reason why I brought him up is because he, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the course of the interview with Arise TV, he lied. And based on that lie, a lot of Nigerians believed that lie because they considered it news. And when, for instance, he gave that lie on Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. This was three months before the election. Obviously, if you are watching Arise and you hear that Bola Tinubu did not go to Chicago State University and Chicago State University denied him, that means you are going to believe he is dishonest and you are, not, you, you, you are unlikely to vote for him. That is called election interference. That is the only reason why I, 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 brought, I, I, mean, I brought up his name. So, uh, let, let's, let, let's wrap up now because uh, basically I'm 
asked you about what you know about the Supernatural Review and Chicago University and the certificate. But the girls who also we argue that if you look at what the Chicago University has put out there and what is submitted to Ireland, there seems to be some differences. Have you noticed that? That is not true. Chicago State University has not put anything out there. And this is what I'm saying, that Nigerians should stop relying on social media. Chicago State University has not put anything out there. The only thing that they said in a sworn deposition at, in court is that Bola Tinubu, the current, and I'm quoting them, the current president of Nigeria attended our school, Chicago State University, and graduated with honors in 1979. Full stop. In Hausa, they will say chicken. They have not revealed anything about his records, about his age, about his gender, or about his height, or anything else. All they just said is that we confirm that this man attended our university. He graduated in 1979 with honors. Full stop. If you want to see his academic record, we are not going to give it to you. But if the court gives us an order, then we will comply with that order and give release those documents. Well, like I said before, Waziri Atiko Obaka is a man that enjoys my confidence. I believe in him. I have every confidence in him. He knows what he is doing. And Nigeria should be patient. In the fullness of time, what he is doing will come to light. All I can say on this matter is this, is that Bola Tinubu, the current president of Nigeria, male, former senator, former governor, husband of Olu Remi Tinubu, attended Chicago State University. Now, whether or not there are, he went to primary school or he went to secondary school, I'm not competent to uh, comment on that matter. But on the fact that he attended Chicago State University, I went there. If you want, I will give you documentary, video evidence, documentary evidence, and also give you contact details to the school. The man attended Chicago State University. God bless you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much indeed. I'd like to bring in a, a, a very experienced lawyer, Mr. Liberos Oshoma, who has since joined us.